Hey, hey, how are we doing? Yes, you will not guess where I am today. I've been, um, well, I've had some business this morning in Peterborough. Um, had to meet someone at half eight this morning. And I'm thinking, well, I'm not just driving all the way to Peterborough and back for nothing. What can I, where can I go? Now, there's a venue that's been on my bucket list for a while now to fish, but more in the winter, really. I came here with Steve Hemingway several years ago now, and I've been itching to come back. And I actually drove through here the other day, and I thought, that's a sign this is where I need to be going now it's not the best conditions but I am at the 40 foot Ramsey 40 foot I'm at uh, this is controlled by Ramsey at Anglin Society day tickets on the bank and um, yeah I'm hoping to catch um, well I've just brought chopworm caster basically so I'm hoping to catch a nice net of perch now, I know there's some really big perch in here um, but I'd love to catch a tench as well and maybe a bream or a skimmer or something but uh, my wish is to catch a tench um, but if not we're gonna have a nice day on the chopworm um, trying to catch some perch so that's the plan but yeah I've just took myself in I'm uh, two pegs down from the bridge there's a guy just further up whip fishing and I can see lots of little roach um, flitting around and that's very weedy as you'd expect this time of year and it's not very good conditions it's, it's sort of bright sunshine hot and sunny the last two days so not ideal for fishing for um, tench in the middle of the day but hopefully we'll catch some perch so uh, that's the plan anyway I've got a, a mountain of gear Actually, no, I've travelled quite light, but it's still a mountain of gear to get up, up and down this hill behind me. But yeah, we'll quickly get set up and we'll quickly get fishing, just one or two rigs. Uh, nice strong rigs to try and drag some quality fish out the, out the weed, I'm hoping. So, but yeah, perch fishing, but fingers crossed we'll catch a tench as well. Right then, I'm all in position. I've got all my bait in front of me. All I've got is worms. That's for chopping. That's my hook worms. Always keep them covered up with plenty of mud, so especially in this heat. I've got some dead maggots. I've got some casters. The floating ones I, I can put on the hook, but the, I've got plenty of sinkers under there as well. So any that are floating on the top, they're the ones I'll put on my nice heavy hook. And then I've got um, Thatcher's Dark and F1 Dark. Um, just quite a damp mix. Um, I've got two swims. I'm gonna fish just chopworm and caster short, and now I'm gonna put ground bait chopworm and caster long. Um, I found roughly uh, a clearish hole in the weed on both swims, and it's roughly the same depth. It's surprisingly shallow, actually. So disappointingly shallow. It's like it's about five foot. So um, not not ideal because I can see the bottom here. So uh, yeah, conditions are against us, and it is uh, quarter to eleven now. So um, I've got to be done by two. So I've got three hours. So I'm not going to chop up all these just yet. Just chop up half of those, just a big handful like that. It's not towing, but there's a lot of surface skim. I want to make sure there's some coarse bits in there as well so I don't want it to be mega fine a few dead maggots a big dollop of casters a few more casters in plenty of casters there we are that's our uh, that's our mix I'm going to pot that in probably about that much in on the short swim nice big positive dollop because I think we're going to get a few silverfish and stuff, um, mopping it up. And then I'll put put two balls long. That's it. So, let's put a big dollop in. I'm going to be nice and positive. Don't want to top up too often. Just one nice big dollop. Half a big pot full. <laughs> Looks a lot, but I think it'll be, uh, well, I spilled a little bit then. Yeah, I think it'll be cleared up pretty quick. So there's a lot of surface skim, but I've tried my rig and it's not towing. It's uh, well, it's, a, it's just a very gentle tow. So I'm just gonna dip it in and let it all go down. You can see it going down pretty much straight down. Let's get my other section. I say it is weedy. Between me and my 30 meter swim, there's another bank of weed. So we're, we're gonna have to be uh, probably stand up and 
push it back like a demon. So that's our first swim anyway. What I'm gonna do, just add ground bait to that. I don't wanna put two balls in really, I think to begin with. Just a bit of scent. Two rich balls. I had brought sweet corn as well, but I, I don't think I've got time to sit on sweet corn. So we'll just put two nice cluggy wet balls in there. And we'll just pop them in. The sun up for this. Don't think we're gonna get a boat today, but you know, I don't know. Probably help if we get. Line it up with that little knuckle of the tree there. Quickly ship back. Do it all in one. Should just about stay there, no. Say there might be some skimmers about and stuff. It doesn't look particularly uh, conducive to skimmer fishing, but uh, you never know, do you? So that's it, that's our mix, let's cover that up. Two balls, bomb, bomb, bomb. Well, we'll leave that one to settle for a bit. And we'll fish the other one. the hardest bit of the day well it might be hard pulling them out of the weed as well but uh, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it okay I've not gone out yet I'm gonna show you the rig first I've gone for a very very crude rig um, I've got a one gram it's only like five foot maybe six I've gone for a gram Colm Extreme Passant which is one of my favorite river floats it's thickish bristle um, about 1.5 1.2 solid plastic bristle and it's got an inline body I've got um, 018 mainline because it's a thick wire stem I've got four rubbers I like to have four rubbers on some of my wire stems and then it, as I say 018 I've got an olivet tungsten olivet there a few trimming shot and everything there around the shot and then two number I think they're nines two number nines and then a six inch hook length um, 016 to a 14 MXB2 it's sort of a medium wire um, I'd like to fish stronger gear but but we'll see I, I think this will this will catch everything and in my experience tench can be a little bit shy biting so um, we can fish casters worms mag maggots everything on this if we lose any we'll we'll um, we'll scale up to a, a, a dirty big hook but that's a, just a nice strong hook shouldn't open up and then um, 14 to 16 slick um, I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit I've just got this tension in device as well it's 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 set quite slack anyway this is this is for when I'm next on the commercial I don't mind a bit hanging out so don't think of what's going on John this is deliberately hanging out so um, but yeah when we get one we're just gonna have to lift it hoist the pole up high anyway so let's just try and find a nice worm I'm just gonna nip the bit of the head off decent bit of worm to start with we can catch perch and everything on that and uh, we should catch perch straight away if there are any about so ideally we won't have to go on that long line but I thought we'd just let some fish settle on that line I remember where I lined it up with that bit of grass there got a longish line above the float because of the um, the clarity of the water really I've not test tested the shotting on this yet so we'll just see I'm trying to hold back hard I might have to go and get me spray bar out the um, out the van if we need it. It's not moving, but the surface layers are. But I don't mind with worm because we are actually sort of twitching it a little bit as well. So let's just see if we can catch some perch. And like I say, it's <laughs> mad dogs and Englishmen out in the midday sun. This is so uh, we're fishing at the worst time of the day. It's a bit more of a your typical commando mission, but I'm trying to make the most of my journey up to Peterborough. So it's about 20 minutes from where I've just been. 
Not a good sign not getting a dink straight away though, because I had left it a few minutes. So yeah, I've just got one rig set up at the moment. Oh, a bit of weed. That's not a good sign, is it? Bit of weed. There's lots of weed. The whole lake, the whole lake, the whole uh, drains full of weed. But we'll persevere. I dragged and dragged the heavy plummet around. That seemed to be at the clearest spot. There's another reason for using that heavy, really heavy rig, so we can lower it right into position. I don't want it to travel too far down the peg. Sometimes, I know on these drains, they fish a big combine hours to go and buy. We'll wet that bass. Big noisy thing. Great to see. Another combine harvester. Probably had a bite then, didn't I? Yeah, sometimes. Oh, there we are. Oh, what was that? That was just hanging on. That was a good fish, wasn't it? Oh, we fouled up something. Look, we got a scale. Something was sat above that worm, and we pricked it. I'm not going to adjust the depth just yet. There are fish there. <laughs> that was a good fish, whatever that was. But yeah, sometimes, I mean, I, I fish the I fish the Cam and the Neen and and um, all these sort of weedy places when when I was with Shakespeare and Tipton, and um, all the locals around here they they were fishing really heavy floats with all the weight down, just nailing it in holes in the weed. That was a little, little dunk. But like I say, this is a crude rig. I could set a light rig if I, if I need to, but I don't particularly want to. I'm gonna have to put some back shot on that as well, aren't I? Yeah, we'll definitely put some back shot on. I think that's in the weed again, but it's definitely a little, we definitely had a little inquiry. But yeah, I would have liked to buy it by now. Well, that was we foul up. Roach would have a perch scale, wasn't it? There we are, let's go in, let's go in, one, two, three. Ooh. Ooh, it's a skimmer. It's a skimmer. Hopefully you got that. Well, there we are. <laughs> skimmer. It's just going sideways, isn't it? Well, that wasn't what I was expecting to catch first chuck <laughs> or first fish. Oh, he's had a bit of a poop poop on me. Sorry. He wasn't not coming off. Oh, yeah. There we are. Skimmer. I'm happy with that. Didn't I really expect to see one of those today? Well, that's a good sign. And if we keep catching those, we'll we'll just pop a light caster rig on or a light rig. Just get all that weed off and all that slime. That's a great sign. That was going so I'm going to shallow up a fraction and I'm going to um, pop two back shot on as well. Just get all those wisps off. Great. Right, second, second fish, please. Another skimmer, big bream would be nice. Yeah, just trying to lower it straight down. You can't really lay it in sideways when there's weed top there. Yeah. When there's weed top to bottom. Oh, just kept going and going and going. There we are, chunky perch. Happy days. I say I lowered that down and it just kept going. Create a nice. Uh, For the weed, create a nice little platter to fish over. 
Oh, this is going to be good, isn't it? We catch another one. I think we will. We got that in. Yeah. Yeah. Nice heavy rig. If there was no weed, I'd fish a really light rig catch their eye on the way down. Oh, that was a wobble, that's going sideways. Boom. Wow. <laughs> that's on a big bit of worm, so they've clearly found it. Here we are. A very fat roach. A bit, of a bit of hybrid in that, I think. We might be putting corn in. It stays like this. It's a bit snaffled that, isn't it? Try and find a bigger, bigger worm. I'm just gonna pop a whole one on, hook it in the head. You know, obviously chop worm that does attract him. Um, I'm just gonna nip the very end off. Chop worm does attract pike. That's the other issue. But that heavy rig magnifies everything, keeps everything nice and stable. A stable wire stem. It does start to pull, which these drains can sometimes. And yeah, you can it's still it's it stays in position really nicely. We can hold back hard and it doesn't rise up. See that big cluster of bubbles? So we've had a skimmer, a perch and a roach. Happy days. And if it's more perchy, we can always fish that worm off the deck, but I generally think for, for tension bream, you're better off ligging on a little bit. But we can, we can, Swap and change to suit. You can try it both. Whip, one, two, three, it's going again. Perch, yeah. Big splash above me there, I don't know what that was. Yeah, another perch. Days. But that was just quite into one side, wasn't it? Well, my camera has overheated. I told you it was hot. So uh, we might just have to roll with this camera for a little bit. Well, I can tell my, my pole is red hot now. So I'm not surprised my my camera down to my left is, is uh, stopped recording. It's overheated. So I've covered it up and I've opened the battery port. Hopefully we can uh, carry on and it will cool down in a sec. But yeah, I'm not surprised, it's red hot. I've got the old uh, factor 30 on my arms today and my 50 on my face. But uh, so we've had a couple of perch, a roach and a skimmer. Four put-ins, four fish. Uh, oh, and we bumped the fish for it, didn't we? First chuck, which was uh, just just pricked it, just foul looked it. But that's good anyway. So uh, let's see, if we can't catch another one. Wind's really getting up. Come on, come on, baby. Yeah, the wind's really got up. Didn't think it was supposed to be windy today. No more signs. I'm gonna say I've got a bit of weed on that. No, it didn't feel like any weed. It's lift and drop. Oh, now it's going a bit. Is that fish on or is that just a toe? That's a fish. Okay. Another perch. Great stuff. It's actually bit off a bit of worm for me so that's good we'll just go back in with that once we've got the weed off it's got about an inch inch and a half bit of worm on now but judging by the response they've, they've probably ate a lot of that already haven't they I'm gonna have a quick go on a caster or two casters and then I'm quite keen to go on that long line pretty quick because if there are quality fish about they could have ate that and gone, judging by the response we've had here. And then, um, 
definitely think we need to top up soon. But we'll see. Yeah, double caster. Let's see if we get a bite on that. Just a little bit gusty this. If we had a single caster on a light rig, we'd definitely be catching a few now. But I'm trying to stick to the crude rig for now. Three dead maggots and it never even got to the bottom. <laughs> no, I think we just get mired by little fish on three dead maggots. No. I think we need the worm back on, don't you? An odd little knock, but it's, it's slowed right down now. Probably have to put a little shot on that float as well, just to dot it down a little bit. Might be a little fish on there already. But yeah, there yeah. Oh, a rud, I think. Is that a rud? It is a rud. There we are. Cracker. Don't mind a rud. He's got a little bit deep, so I was just thinking we need a shallow perfection. And, um, yeah, we'll shallow up a little bit and we'll give him another dollop. I reckon they've got the old lot, so uh, there's all my bits of worm I'm chopping. Give him another dollop. Not too fine again. And uh, there's a full pot. There it is. Yeah, so another big dollop. I think all that's left is little fish now. Load casters again. Dead maggots. A few more casters actually. Nice big pot. And we're going to feed that and then we're going to go long. Alright, we've left the camera door, the battery door open. That's a good, a, a good tip if your GoPro's, well, my DJI is overheating. Don't use GoPros now because they're they're even worse in the hot weather. I use DJI Osmos for anyone who's interested. They're definitely better than a GoPro. So yeah, a nice bit of worm again. We're gonna go long. We rolling? We're rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Like I said, I've topped up the the shorts with. He's got to stand up because it's a really awkward hill. And then um, just quick. Alright, hopefully that's in in shot. That knot there, wasn't it? I say I've had some bubbles. There, yeah, that's a fish on the way down. Did you see that? There's a rod or something having it on the way down. <laughs> see if it'll follow it down. That whack sideways, didn't it? So I say we could have come and just fished a whip or a, a little waggler or something and had a nice day, but I, I didn't know what what to expect today. Really, I thought let's just come and fish chop worm. Yeah, I think if I'd have got some live maggots or pinkies or a bit of bread, I think we could have had a lovely day doing that as well here. Cracking bit of bit of water this. I fished this peg because the weed's been raked. It's a nice fishable swim, so it's clearly been fished. And uh hoping that the bottom wasn't too too bad. And anywhere near a bridge, you know, we've got houses either side. Oh, there we are. What? 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 A little stab, wasn't it? So this is a crude rig. I know it is. I know as soon as I put a light rig on, I'm going to up the tench. So we'll, we'll just try and catch what we can on this rig. 016 to a 14 it's for fishing worm <laughs> but I can quickly quickly set up a lighter rig if I need to but we definitely have a little stab oh, go on in go on in go on in go on in yeah a lighter rig with 010 or 012 bottom I'm just thinking about the weed we always scale down on this as well. Didn't develop, did it? Whatever it was. So it could be a load of skimmers there, and obviously going to be a bit shy of biting than than a. Ooh.
Sitting a bit lower all of a sudden. The bottom was not very flat when I plumbed up, by the way. It was up and down. Obviously clumps of weed and stuff as well everywhere. But it definitely wasn't, wasn't flat. Seems to get a bit shallower the further to the left I went. Come on. A couple of dinks and dibs, didn't we? Three, two, one, go. All right, I'm going to quickly go back on that line with top top. Check we've got no weed on that. There's, there's definitely weed on there. <laughs> Didn't look too bad when I was fishing out there. Probably looked worse on camera. Let's have a quick look on that short line because we have top top. Lift bite then. <laughs> I'm gonna shallow up again. Just shallow up a touch. Try and fish above that weed a little bit more. I couldn't hold that long pole now anyway, the gusts are got really picking up, but I've just shallowed up a touch. So we're just on top of that weed now rather than ligging on. Just try and hold it as still as we can. Really awkward to get your depths right on these undulating, weedy bottoms. I think small fish fishing, just fishing through the water and off the bottom in this clear water makes perfect sense. But um, if we're going to catch decent fish, then I just think laying on a little, a little bit of line is generally the answer. We had a promising start, it's just gone a little bit iffy now, but we've topped up. I know we'll be getting bites if we uh, scale down. I'm just reluctant to do that just yet. <laughs> Got in a weed, oh that's about a perch. Just about swinging. See the worm there. See some perch. Well, a chunky perch short, and then um, a couple of wobbles, but nothing. I just tried two bits of worm. Just try two smaller bits. And just see. Sometimes good for skimmers, chunks of worm. But what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to have another look long. We've only had a very quick look long. And I'm going to start loose feeding short, and um. Yeah, let's just start making something happen on that short line. Start loose feeding caster. See, that's, that didn't settle. If it stuck on some weed or a, or a fish nibbled it on the way down. Just wait for the wind to drop. Yeah, so I'm just going to start quite positively catting casters and we will we're going to have to pop a lighter rig on as well because I'm sure there's other fish there but we just oh that had a bit of me had a bit of me worm that had whatever it was yeah in fact let's just try a worm head first let's try the head of a bit of worm but yeah loose feed short now We'll leave that the far swim in the ground bait um, without any loose feed and just see what happens. I love these days. We've got two swims we can experiment with. But we know there's wood and roach in here. I know if we were fishing a lighter rig we'd be catching these fish now. We'd probably have a little roach or rudder chuck. We might be doing that soon because I'm itching to have a go at them. Just what a little worm head over those casters might, might be a... Uh, might be the ticket. Lay it back Lay it. I'm going to risk laying that one in sideways to see what happens. I'm sure someone will have a little go at it on the way down. Yep. There you go. Oh, that was, a, that was a nice roach that was. But like I say, this rig is not right for this. So we're going to uh, keep, keep popping some casters in. 
think we need to pop a nice lighter rig on. Make make the most of them. Well, I say I haven't got long, so uh, we could have an hour on these. Probably all could tench on it. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. All right, let's pop that pole together again. Have another look long on the worm. And then, depending on what happens there, yeah, depending on what happens on that long line. I hope we had one on the way in. <laughs> That's had it on the way in, that. Yeah, depending on what happens on the long line, we might just pop a, a small fish rig on and see if we can clatter them for a bit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's quickly ship out. Fast as we can. So it's only my second look on this long line, so let's see if anything's settled on it. Where are we there? Level with that. Are we in position, hopefully? About there. So we fed quite a bit of bait there, didn't we? But uh, it might not have been enough. We are in summer, the fish are really active and uh, hungry. You give them a free meal. But we've put fish meal ground bait in, That's, that was deliberate because I wanted to be a bit more, uh, a bit more selective. It stays like that without the wind, we are we laughing? It's Gus. Rattling some in short as well. Perfect. I think fishing off bottom for these smaller fish could be uh, could be more productive with the weed being like it is, which I kind of half expected. But I thought if we could find a nice hole in the weed, we might catch some quality fish on the deck. But when the sun's out, middle of the day. They're probably just soaking in the weed now, not wanting to feed. Well, no weed on that. Worm's not doubled up, that's just good. Slow it in. We'll have one more little quick quick look and then we'll pop a lighter rig on. I know we're gonna catch some of those smaller fish. Uh, we have to top this up and leave it. I'm tempted to replumb it as well, just because of the uh, the weed situation, and just just see. We've had no more signs on that, have we? Let's plumb it up quick. Pop, 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 pop. Only a little bit of weed on there. A nice heavy plummet. 30, I think that one's 30 gram. I know it's not ideal re plumbing on a really clear venue like this, but we are pleasure fishing. You see, there's already weed on there from fishing out. Just check how I've got my depths right. Yeah, or oh, maybe we're just a touch too, too close to dead depth there. Look, it's, yeah. Right, okay. We'll need to lig on a bit more on that line. Yeah, we'll lig on a little bit more on with that line. Just a bit too close to dead depth. Yeah, so that's the depth, but we'll fish up to there. Oh well, as long as we know. Give him another ball. Nice rich ball full of feed. I'm going to have a quick go over that ball I've just topped up. Just quick. And then we'll get our head down on the uh, on the small fish, I think. I've just set a, uh, a really light rig with, with a six elastic 010 bottom to fish casters. So we'll, 
Free some casters there. There's a wobble then on the way down. I think. Yeah, so we've just topped up with a ball. Wind's sort of in my face now. Just just quite keen to fish a big bit of worm over that ball I've just potted in. And then we'll get a red down on the small fish. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. So there's, there's definitely fish on that line, but they're not the fish we're after, I don't think. Not yet. There's no weed on there. Oh, yeah. One more, one more lay in. Lay it in sideways, see what happens. <laughs> Naughty wind. See, that's not settling properly. Look it in that way. Just don't know what's down there. I need to float a, float my camera over there and just see what the bottom's like. I'm probably fishing two foot away from a lovely clear patch and don't know it. <laughs> Come on. That's fine, because we've got ground right there, we can leave it anyway. We can leave it and let it do its magic. Something will settle there eventually. 9 and a bit, 9 and 3 quarters, 10, okay. Let's get on the, the small fish. Right, I'm itching to just get started, so let's just try and catch a fish first and look at the rig second. <laughs> it's just a nice light, point, about 0.25 gram rig. Start rolling. I'm sure we'll catch on this, I can't see it's not. It's light in sideways, it'd probably go sideways to float. I've just got eight number 11s down the line. Just a bulk and two droppers at the moment. Oh, that's the first little bite. Again, it's it's on the crude side, a 16 to 010. It's not really a, a roachy rig. It's a bit of everything rig. I'm hoping they'll, they'll still accept it. Yeah. Right. We might see a pike or two as well. And I might have to just, what have we got there? It's a hybrid. Oh, that's a, that's definitely a roach, a roach wood hybrid, that. Perfect. On the caraster, I'm choosing one of the floating ones again. I just had to uh, swing that in with an extra section on than the length of the rig. I've got a number six to eight slick on that. Yeah, like I said, I knew they were there. <laughs> At the moment, I'm just fishing sort of about probably about an inch off, dead depth to an inch off. It's hard to be accurate on a bottom like this, but uh, we might catch off the deck. We might have to bury a caster and fish on the weed. We'll see. I think we'll catch a few. But they might spook when they start flashing a bit as well. Start it down a little bit. Possibly a bit okay for me, but not sure if the camera will pick that up. <laughs> Come on, there can't be just one there. It'd be fun if we hook something big on this. Even a eight ounce perch will be fun. 
Yeah. I thought that would go straight away. Again, we have to juggle the depths. We might be having it all before it's got down, but at the moment I've just got a bulk and, and two. Might be able to have to string it out, might have to, um, like I say, fish off the bottom, might have to fish over depth. Yeah, straight away, on the way down. Yeah. It. I'm trying to be quite liberal with these casters. Can't see them coming back with me. Oh, that's gone straight away. On the drop, wasn't looking. <laughs> Might have smashed that, but I was looking at my camera and then my float was under. Might just have to take a little shot off that as well. I think that's been smashed on the way down. So we've put a little bit of worm on as well. We've been uh, we fed enough worm down there. Yeah, I think that's in space. Surprised if it's not. Oh yeah. <laughs> we wasn't going to get a bite on that, was we? Trying to find a nice big caster. Not burying it. No need to. Not on this. This many fish about. We'll lay it inside, we might have to bomb it down. We'll see. There might be half depth for these fish. That's wobbled on the way down. Another little dink. But it's very clear water, so they might be a bit a bit shy biting. There's definitely fish off the bottom, isn't there? Maybe not so much on the bottom. Just lift. Just lay, it in. lay it in and really hang on to it. Oh, look at that big cluster of bubbles coming up. Right where my float is. I reckon there might be a pike there. There was a big pike opposite when I got here. I could see it. A big long log in the peg. It swam off by the time I went back up the hill to look again. But it was a... Well, it looked big to me. Big enough to not want to take one of your roach. Yeah, I re I'm pretty sure that big cluster of bubbles is probably a pike having a go. That should have just gone. There's definitely been a couple of strikes further downstream. If that's not been smashed, then uh, something, something's awry. Oh yeah, it's been smashed. I'm not seeing the bites clearly. <laughs> it's been nipped at the end. Let's shallow up a bit. Because we're not seeing the bites. Come off the bottom a few inches. Come on, don't you bite. They might be just two or three foot deep, especially if there's rud about. Uh, trying to keep nearer the bottom to begin with. Yeah. As I kind of expected, they're off the bottom, aren't they? Another hybrid. Nice. Okay. Weed off. There's a nice caster on my knee, just spotted. Yeah, so we're probably three inches off the deck now. We just do this. 
bit of weed up my line, but it's not a problem. Just think the, the clear water, the fish tend to live off the bottom a lot more. Coloured water, they tend to grub on the bottom a bit more, I think. Just keep laying the rig in. Pretty sure we will. I think we'll be showing up a bit more, don't you? Glad I'm behind this this bank of reeds. That's smashing as well. Might be putting a worm head on. They keep smashing me. No, looks fine. Don't see nothing wrong with that. Get the weed off my throat. So why didn't we have a bite? I can only assume there's a few predators about. The cluster of bubbles suggested it. Maybe I'm feeding too heavy. Yeah, they're really high these fish, aren't they? That's why I chose a nice light eight. Well, a float that takes just eight number elevens. Fully expecting to be fishing just two or three foot deep potentially. Nice long line above the float. Couple of back shot. Another big cluster of bubbles. Well, these fish are definitely doing me. I'm going to bring the the bolt down. I'm going to just spread it out in the bottom sort of half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, number 11s now. And it's come right off the bottom. Get all that weed off the hook, off the uh, float. And we're probably 18 inches off the deck now. A bit more. There we are. I'm pretty sure they're. Uh, Right off the bottom. Oh, there's a bit of weed on the hook there. Just from shipping out. Dee -dee 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 -dee. You can't get frustrated with stuff like that because it's going to happen. There's that much weed. There's not a lot you can do about it. Don't lose your rag. Just get it off the hook. Try again. wind's really whipping down now. We'll definitely get a bite on this. We're a good 18 inches off the deck now with casters. Yeah. I think I'll be popping a worm head on. Because they're, they're just going to keep smashing that caster. I'll probably smash that. Being a bit lazy. Kind of know they smashed it, but in pleasure angler mode, I can uh, yeah. I'll see a load of little rodding things up in the water. Oh, it hasn't smashed it, it's took it, it's nicked it. Let's pop a, pop a single dead maggot on. A live maggot would be nice, but I haven't got any. going a bit. Big rud. 
That's what's doing me, isn't it, on the caster? Lovely big rod. <laughs> Beautiful rod. Absolutely nailed that dead maggot. <laughs> Look at that. No wonder I'm getting smashed. But we'll keep we'll keep being quite positive. Because at least we're hopefully a few casters will get to the bottom as well. Yeah, 18 inch off the deck, it's not even getting to the bottom, is it? Might want then. Really this elastic just through one section would be alright for a some of river like this where it's all weedy, but you know, let me go. Bring that one in. Well, those are these in here, aren't they? Hey, how good's this? A lot of hybrids and things. Cracking venue. Why would I want to fish underneath them for a tench when you can catch fish like that? <laughs> They are splashing a bit. Let's flip the rig round. Are we getting that? Are we in? Yeah. that maggot unless it's doubled over you should be able to get another bite off it yeah. that's what that's the trouble we're getting wow well, look at these lovely little skimmers if you pop two on why not top and tail two Gutted, I've got to go in an hour and a quarter, but this is what it is. Let's see if I have to. Probably won't have enough casters anyway after that. Bit of bait today, ain't they? <laughs> Battery's gone. Another battery gone. Oh, two maggots, smaller fish. Look at these, loads of these proper pike bait, aren't they? Silver bream. Oop. Trying my best not to get me top slimy. Try a little bit of worm head. There's two bites on the worm. Again, three bites. Hmm. Slightly smaller bit on, and a touch deeper. Finally, yeah, one, and it's a tiny bit. Oh, it's not that small. It looked tiny when I looked it. Yeah, not sure where worm heads right today. Try and cast her again. It's probably see some of those skimmery things in here. Right. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. We had a bit of a rut round then. Uh, can I hear some puller? It's just rut round. A bit of weed caught in my Dacron, I think. Look what we got off the deck. Skimmer. <laughs> well off the deck. Skimmer. It's gone into my net. Beauty of these landing nets, yeah. So, single caster, well off the deck, yeah. It wasn't coming off, cracker. What is it, mate? I'm sliding. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I nearly lost him. I've got a little bit of weed caught around me, yeah. You can see it weed around me, Dacron. Uh, just see if I can see that float in the shot there. Should be about there. Yeah. It's gone already. <laughs> That's why I couldn't see it. <laughs> that was on a caster. Look at loads of these. Little skimmers in here. Fantastic. Little bottle tops. feed so we're getting quite a lot on the drop or just suspended that one's just playing with it but what I'm thinking is we'll have a little look full depth again in a sec and just see might try a little bit of worm there as well unless we keep catching what we've got here Decent fish. There's a perch or a skimmer or a roach. That's definitely a skimmery roach rud hybrid perch carp tench species, that isn't it? There's definitely a bit of rud in it. Not so many skimmer rud hybrids. Catch on caster now. Which is nice. That one played with it for a little bit. I think I'm just trying to fish a bit below the smaller fish that are up really high. That's what I'm thinking. But I'm quite keen to have a look full depth again soon. Wind's really, really tricky. Float's sitting there nice, but every now and again it just angles the wrong way, really. I think if we fish 08 and an 18, we'd catch more, but... That's definitely the epic caster, I think. We'll feed, we'll leave it with one more go and see. I think that's probably smashed me. Right, I'm going to go full depth. Let's go full depth. Whack it back up. That will go a couple of inches over depth. And we'll try a caster and see what happens. And then we'll try a bit of worm. And if these don't work, we'll, we'll, get, we'll carry on fishing off the bottom. I'm going to sort of bomb it down a bit more as well in a heap rather than laying it sideways. Just let it try and get through those smaller fish might not get to the bottom just see if there's anything bigger down there <laughs> could try a double caster on this as well try all sorts I suppose I'll let you know my secret as well, these casters are three weeks old. So uh, 
And they don't seem to mind them, do they? Pop on. Nice bit of worm. Tail. Small bit of tail. I just think the fish are off the bottom. I just wanted to see if anything was grubbing down there underneath them. Some bigger scavengers. Come on. Come on, baby, 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 baby. I just think all the fish are mid-water. Oh, we're going to have one more look long on the worm. I'm not going to spend too long on that. Because I don't need to. I'm really enjoying it short. But I thought, well, I fed that ball. I must, I've must. got to have a quick look, see if anything's on there. But I'm not too fussed, because I'm going to quickly ship back and... Uh, and have a go short on the casters again off the bottom. I've had another look on full depth with worm over those casters short as well. Not had anything. They're just off the bottom today. Clear water, clear and weedy. Fish live off the bottom, don't they? That's it. I don't need to fish that line anymore. Let's get on the small fish rig. Right, I fished a 16 to 0, 10. I was getting quite a few shy bites, so I'm just going to see an 18 to 09. See if it makes any difference or not. I wouldn't go any finer than that today. That 18, see if, if that improves things or not. <laughs> I've forgotten my spare batteries by the way, so I'm, I'm wired up to a power pack. Luckily I've got two ports. There's loads of these hybrids in here. Great to see. Wasn't expecting to see those. But I'm definitely scraping the barrel with the casters as well. I'm probably a foot off the bottom now. I've just I deepened off just to see, but well, I've tried all sorts of depths, but somewhere between a foot to 18 inches off the bottom seems best. I showered right up to two foot deep, but it wasn't wasn't really right. Yeah, there's definitely some rud shallower, but they're not overly easy to catch. Now, well, there's one of the rud I was talking about. Been flapping. Told you, I just saw an odd one pimpling under the surface. That's a nice wood. You can just tell us some wood about. Yeah, well, I ain't gonna have enough casters anyway if, if I wanted to fish longer than two o'clock. is better already I know I've only had two fish on it but I think my 16 to 010 was just a, a touch crude in this clear water and bright sunshine should have fished in my shorts really but yeah you, they definitely spook once you've caught a couple but they flash as you know as soon as you've up one they flash in so uh what am I going to say? It's, it's three and a half. I'm probably fishing three and a half foot deep there. So, uh, yeah. You're not going to keep laying the rig in. Oh, some weed on that. No. They definitely back off a little bit when, you, when you've caught one or two. But we've not had any pike. I'm gobsmacked about because those skimmers are perfect pike baits, aren't they? And there was definitely one opposite when I uh, when I looked down this morning. Should get one there. Ooh. Little baggers. 
Okay, we're getting that. Trying to flick the rig in mostly with the hook bait downstream, but I've had an odd flick upstream and um, I've definitely had a few where I'm sort of flicking past when the wind allows. When it drops like this, you can flick the rig out as well, away from you. But when, when it's blowing right to left, you can't really do that, it doesn't look right. I should go. I quite like flicking it away from me like that, it's always good for a few fish. I don't know where the roach are, but I don't mind when you're catching little skimmers, skimmers like that. Let's see if we can catch five more fish. We don't have much casters. We won't have enough casters for any more than that, anyway. I don't think. I don't know if they wanted loads or not a lot. I've been giving them loads. <laughs> Definitely backed off a bit. Come on, five more. Split that one upstream. There we are. One. Dead maggot back on. Catch a second one on that. A lot of people are probably saying you could fish a whip today, but you couldn't fish a whip in this with this wind today. Maybe a little waggler, a little waggler on the whip would work. But I don't think you've got the presentation that I've got here. Is that three? Two more? Was it four? I can't remember. Two more anyway. Oh, that maggot's been good as well, hasn't it? Oh, that pulled the elastic out on the bottom. Oh, there you are. Is that a roach? That's a hybrid again. A roachwood hybrid, I'm going to say that was. Last one. And we got a perch. That one ending on a perch. And there we are. Well, we came expecting perch. 
but we've ended up catching a lovely bag of everything really. I'm well happy with that. Go on in, trust me on. One more. On a caster. One more, one more, one more. Yeah, what I'm like. Everyone knows what I'm like. It's not just me, is it? Don't care what it is. <laughs> I had it right on the drop. Oh, a bleak. <laughs> a herring bleak. I thought I saw some of them looking off, off the bridge. I'm not ending on a bleak, I don't care. I don't care what you say. Bob and get on again. Not my favourite species. So that might be some of the fish I've been seeing pimpling actually. Might, they might not have been rud. They might have just been big bleak. Bleak, is it? Oh, it's tiny, whatever it is. Uh. Yeah. No, I'm not ending on that one either. How many one last cast can a guy make? fish to end on. I'm not ending on a tiny fish or a little split. There we are. That's it. This is the one. Another hybrid. Yeah. And we're done. There we are. Cracking bag of fish. Absolutely cracking bag of fish in no time at all really. Two or three hours. A lovely big rud. I think I've had a bigger one than that. Cracking rud, a few nice skimmers, and a little smaller skimmers as well. And uh, yeah, loads of these. Great to see these in the river, or the drain. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what weight you've got there, but I don't care, I've had a lovely day's fishing. Um, chopworm and caster, well, chopworm to start with, hoping for a tench, but then quickly realizing that there's loads of fish above them. and. Uh, It'd be foolish to ignore fish like this, wouldn't it? So, uh, so yeah, happy days. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Ramsey 40 foot, cracking bit of water. Thank you, Ramsey AS. And now I'll slip these back and I'll see you again on another session. If you want even more stuff on top of what I already do for free, then I do have a channel members area as well. And it's just £2.99 a month. And there's all sorts on there. There's over 40 films already. Canals, lakes, rivers, you name it. Live matches, sessions, tips, tricks, tactics, you name it. It'll be on there. Keep smiling, keep liking, keep subscribing. And I'll see you again on the bank.